I'm Lisa. And I'm Natasha. And we were wondering. Are you free for coffee? Welcome, welcome. Y'all, the title says it all. This, this is a black mama moment. The whole episode is. <laughs> this is. <laughs> um lately, <laughs> folks are just in these streets cutting up, y'all. I we think have, it's the heat. They people, y'all throwing things at people. <laughs> at games and at concerts. You misbehaving on these air. Planes. Planes. Baby, I don't even want to fly nowhere because these people are really cutting up. Y'all act like you ain't had no home training. None. Some of them had. <laughs> so, Miranda Lambert. Oh, my gosh. Baby, we got to. Look, look, can we just talk to you a minute? You, y'all you know, people have been throwing things at concerts. One yes. girl got hit in the head with a phone, with a, with a phone and had to get stitches. So, this is not that. Miranda was feeling some kind of way because there were some women at her concert taking selfies and she called them out on it. You know, as people do. In front of everybody, y'all. Like, stop the concert. I don't know if I want to sing because these people are taking selfies. They're not Mm -hmm. paying attention to me. I think that was incredibly rude. First off, that's their money. So if I pay... To sleep at your concert, I paid. Right, and and as as long as you're not being disruptive, well, I mean, I mean and they yeah. weren't. They they weren't. Um, they paid their money to see her. They they were her guests. You would not treat any guest that came to your home like that. I don't think. I hope you wouldn't. You are to see my face, y'all. But from what the pictures I saw. It was not disruptive in any way. They were closer to the front, so it was kind of in her sight line. So they paid good money. Yes. Okay. So they just had to sit there and be embarrassed. I I, I don't know. I don't even... It just bothers me, y'all. I just don't even know what to say about it. It was so... I thought it was so rude. Get over yourself. And then country... Western stars are known for being so nice and so generous. And there's, I don't even know what it is. Cause y'all know I'm not a country Western fan. Natasha, do you know, there's a, there's an event that they throw. They've done it for years and years and years. Where they oh, yeah. all get together. Right. You, you pay money and you kind of go from booth to booth and take yes. the pictures and get the, you know, uh, autographs and the whole thing. So they're known for that. They are known for loving their fans mm-hmm. and being up close and personal with yes. their fans. Yes. So for her to do this, now somebody else, it still would have been rude. It's rude across the board. But especially for a country singer, it it really went over and above for me. I just And this is it. This is the Black Mama moment. Miranda, you remember when you started you, I'm sure you prayed to God, please let, let me get a record deal. Yes. Let somebody buy my record. Yes. Let the radio stations play my record. Let the fans, let somebody come pay money to see me. Mm-hmm. And oh, you're here acting a fool. and you're acting a fool with the people who paid to be there. And now these were women. They, they, they were on TV the next day. I would say, I'm I'm so terrible at gauging. I, I'd say in their 40s, I'm guessing. Don't know their circumstances. Don't know anything about these women. But you don't know what it took to get there. Listen. You know, sometimes with women, you've got spouses and kids and jobs and stuff. And you know, as a woman, you are last on the list. Yes. In terms of anything. You take kids to soccer, to games, to this one's friend, sleepover, camp, this and that. Your stuff gets pushed to further and further yeah. and further down. So for them to be there was probably such a big deal. And they done got dressed up, yeah, got oh, cute, 
came and out they paid you to take their little picture we're yeah. here it's probably bffs look we made it we're here we love miranda Ragged. and then you in front of everybody. everybody now miranda you i don't know what was going on with you baby pms or, or whatever but they deserve a public apology oh yeah you should you just you put you them on blast just get out and and do that and if taking selfies at your concert is a thing, you need to let everybody know up front. And guess what? You ain't going to have nobody coming anymore. Right. Really? If, if know, that Beyonce bothers is, you. is on tour and so is um, Taylor Swift. Half my timeline is people taking, taking photos at the and concert. Videos yes. And all kinds of stuff. Because they're paying not just to hear you, they're paying for the ambiance. They're paying to be able to go out and drink with the their experience. girlfriends, the experience the of it all. The experience of being there. So And if you don't like Miranda, it, there's somebody else who would. To do it. Mm. We, this is your black mama, mama moment. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> We're gonna tell you what your white mama won't. And y'all, I'm a Miranda Lambert fan. Now I actually do listen to country music, not so much the new stuff, but and I listen I, to a I, lot of country music. I can't music. even tell you a song she's saying. So, <laughs> really? Really. Okay. So I'm really over it. But it was inexcusable and really bad behavior. And and rude for no reason. That's all I got to say about that. Up next, our picks for the sexiest man alive this week. But first, a message from our sponsor. During hard times, it can get really difficult if you don't have anyone to talk to. Being alone with your thoughts can be an isolating feeling that can allow negativity to consume you. This is why we are sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched with the therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule secure video and phone sessions. Plus, you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. You can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. Join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. So many people use BetterHelp that they are currently recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash free for coffee. That's betterhelp.com slash free for coffee. Okay. Whew. I'm running out of men. Okay, <laughs> y'all, I'm picking John Corbett, who is Aiden from... Sex and the City, and just, and just like, like that. that. Yeah. So he's back. Aiden's back in Carrie's life, and I am loving it. I, you know what, guys? I couldn't get into Sex and the City, but Lisa has drug me into. Oh my gosh! And I'm just loving like that. it so much, y'all. And th- what what I love the most about it, besides it, it's women my age, is the learning moments. Like they have learned. You know, you can get. You either live and learn or you just live. Yeah. <laughs> but they have learned. And I love that. They've made and mistakes. Alert, everybody and they, don't live and Everybody learn. don't. So I'm loving that. And I hope I hope Carrie can have a happily, happily ever after. I really do. But I hope so. I'm too. loving I'm loving Aiden. So John Corbett. So age appropriate. He is. And he's handsome. He is really handsome. held up good. That's, that's kind of what sucked me in. I was like, wait a minute. Yes. Who is this new little something she got after a big pass, which he passed away early. Was it the first episode of of the... Uh, first or second. Yes. So it was, it was yeah, really right, early. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So my pick, and this is just because we were on country music, is Garth Brooks. But it's an honest oh, one. Oh, I love Garth. You want Garth good- wouldn't have done that. It would, so it wouldn't have Garth, Garth, Garth nor Dolly not have done that not Dolly and not no. Garth Garth he's really sweet 
He puts on a hell of a show. I don't care if he's skinny or if he's big, baby. He puts on a I show. Love and love his wife. I know. They're I like so them. Sweet. I really like yes. them. Now I listen to him still to this day, honey. I jam the same old CDs. My parents had the cassette tape. My kids over there like, what is that? It's, like, it's a cassette. What's a cassette? I was like, don't do me like that. Don't 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 say it like it's an eight track. Like, don't try to make me feel old. That's an eight track to them. It is. What's a cassette? I was like, oh, excuse me. Yep. Okay, loves. Thank you for pulling up a chair and joining us for coffee. Please subscribe to Are You Free for Coffee podcast wherever you are listening. We hope that you enjoyed today's episode and find joy in the little things. Until next time. Bye.